Power Lines, a look at what's new in marine power and systems. One of the biggest challenges in boating, whether you're an experienced boater or novice boater in particular, is obviously docking. Maneuvering in tight situations with wind, with current, makes things a little bit tense. Everybody always looks to the guy that might be down the dock that has a newer boat that has some form of joystick control that they can easily dock the boat. And that goes for pod controls, that goes for joystick systems that work with stern drives and outboards. Well, if you already have a boat and you don't have joystick control system on it, there is an answer. So this week on Power Lines, we're going to have a look at a system called Optimus 360 by Seastar that can be retrofitted to a boat like this World Cat. Now in the case of this World Cat with its twin F300 Yamahas on it, it did have hydraulic steering. So this hydraulic system here has been replaced with an Optimus EPS steering system. So it's a full digital system that runs on a CAN bus, essentially a computer network to the controls at the back of the boat, which we'll take a look at later, that control the engines. It already had Yamaha digital throttle and shift, so that remains the same. What's been added, obviously, is the Optimus 360 joystick, and of course there is the display that comes with the system that gives you RPM and other indications and some basic setups. Now, the back of the helm is where you actually start to see the changes. What we have back here, is the original hydraulic steering that was in the boat replaced by an electronic digital unit that just has wiring connecting into the CAN bus system that's taking it to the back. The other part that's here is the back end of the CAN track or the control instrument for the Optimus 360 system. So what we've got here connects into the gateway that is mounted here and it collects all the signals and puts it on the CAN bus system, on the computer network, if you will, which is a completely waterproof connector network that runs through to the back of the boat where the other modules are. Now, back here is where the big changes are from the steering and control that allows the motors to move independently. The major component here that's the brain of this part of the system, anyhow, is the hydraulic pump control module that has the feeds coming from the helm, power provided from the system that's, that's fused and protected, and it has new hydraulic pumps installed. So what happens here is the commands come to the module and the signals go out to the individual pumps to operate either port or starboard outboards on the back of the boat here. Now from where the pump control unit is and the new two separate hydraulic pumps, the other changes occur back here on the twin 300s. Now what's been changed here is the original hydraulic steering cylinders have been removed from both motors. The new hydraulic steering cylinders connected to the pumps in here, and you see the cable that runs back into the system. Now what that is doing is providing rudder position feedback so that the computer system and the controls know what position the outboards are in when controlling the boat. The next part is obviously to get things running and, and demonstrate the capabilities of the system. Technology is really helping to improve boating. It's really great what Seastar has done here with their Optimus 360 joystick control system. Here we have a system that can be retrofitted to a boat like this that did not come with full digital joystick control. It came with digital throttle and shift, but the steering had to be upgraded and the other components added. And what you have now is a boat that's a pleasure to handle around the docks. So that's where technology really is appreciated. <laughs>